I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope we have uh, today a good time together. Uh, it's Friday. Yesterday we have uh, five, six hours of teaching and we did have a good time. And we uh, heard, uh, you know, a Muslim who always called me to argue and scream at me and accuse me to be a liar. Uh, yesterday, he obviously, his heart is softened and he could not resist the truth that Islam is a fraud. And we would pray, we expect him to accept the Messiah as his Lord and Savior. And it's so clear he don't believe in Islam no more. So we hope that Jihad today or soon he will announce, he denounce Islam clearly in public. Actually, he did yesterday, but you know, we needed to make it more clear and he accept the Messiah. He is searching, he is learning. Uh, today we have more poopoo of this guy. His name is Uthman. You know, those people, they are priceless for us. Uh, like even the ones who they are, the, you know, let us say debating with them, they are not really expert. Uh, but you can tell that this guy, he did not know what to say. Uh, the Mohammedan, they post a video, he posted, and this is a screenshot from his video. Lie number one, he just said, Hafs and Warsh wrote the Quran from the Prophet Muhammad. I mean, guys, can you see how stupid this guy is? Are you sure you are defending Islam or you are attacking Islam, Sheikh Uthman? You just admitted that neither Hafs, neither Warsh, they took the Quran from Muhammad. Because this is lie number one. If you say that they wrote the Quran of Muhammad, they are lying. <laughs> Guys, do you see it? I mean, he is the one who is eating in the video and he found something like what did you just lie and say that Warish and Hafs they wrote the Quran from Muhammad? When I say to you that the proof of that the God of Islam is a false God is his followers. Look at this. They are trying to prove to us that their God is true. Okay. They are trying to prove to us that the Quran is true. Okay, wonderful. And then they say to us that the one who they are giving them the Quran, he did not take the Quran from Muhammad. This is in his own video, this stupid guy. He, he, he posted, the Muslim, they posted the link down for me here. This is his own editing. This is not Christian Prince editing. Lie number one. This is Sheikh Uthman. He is saying, lie number one. He just said, Hafs and Warsh wrote the Quran from Muhammad. So he's saying they did not wrote the Quran from Muhammad. So where did they get the Quran from? <laughs> you lied. You lied, brother. You lied. They did not come. They did not take the Quran from uh, you know uh, people in the chat. If you are here just to comment to be stupid and say a stupid comment, I will block the chat and I will disable it. 
We have a topic, either you speak as an adult or I will shuffle you out. Admins, anyone who is making joke, jokes, etc., my beard, etc., give him, block him. Give him a warning first time. Second time, give him a warning, block him. We want adult, we have a topic here. Focus with us or leave. Or leave. If you are a kid, just go. This is very important. Hey, Christian Prince, how is your beard? Do you think I'm coming here to talk about my beard now? Anyone he speak out of the topic, give him a warning. First time, second time, he repeat the same thing, block him. That's it. Bye-bye. No time for kids, no time for stupidity. So line number one. He just said Hafs and Warsh wrote the Quran from Prophet Muhammad. So hey, my friend, my friend from Pakistan, the Christian brother, you did lie. Warsh and Hafs, they did not take the Quran from Muhammad. They did not write the Quran from Muhammad. They wrote it from Uthman. Well, I mean, this Uthman here, not Uthman the Caliphate. <laughs> And you know the funny, this guy in his video, he said to them, who wrote the, the book of book? Luke? Who wrote the book of Luke, huh? Okay, so uh, Luke, he was not even a disciple of Jesus. Oh, oh okay. Well, was Hafs as the disciple of Muhammad? Was he? Hafs came 200 years after Muhammad. So what he knows about what Muhammad said? In the top of that, who is us? Who is Hafs? Tell me who is Hafs. Hafs is a son of a mother. She do muta. She kept marrying a new husband every few weeks. Are you happy now? So he is a son of Asim, but Asim is not his father. He's a step daddy. Because at that moment, when the at the end, you know, he is the son of this guy, but he is not his son. Are you happy now? Who is Hafs? Who tell me? Tell me who's Hafs. Tell me. No, no. I want to know who's Hafs. You said you know who's Hafs. And now the topic became who's Hafs. Not what Hafs said. As we care. Like even if when we say Hafs is a son of Asim, but Asim is not his father. He's a stepdaddy. Whoever married the mommy, he is a stepdaddy. So what that will make any difference anyway. But he's trying to escape the stupidity. And then he go home and he make editing to the video. And then he say, lie number one. He just said Hafs and Warsh wrote the Quran from Prophet Muhammad. So now let me ask you, as long it is lie number one, to say that Hafs and Warsh, they wrote the Quran from Muhammad. So they wrote the Quran from where? Oh, hold, I forgot to tell you that they did not write the Quran, they recite the Quran. Still doesn't make, it make a difference. If they recite the Quran or wrote the Quran, it's the same. They did not recite the Quran from Muhammad. Focus with me, people. Focus. Is your book audible? I mean, should I should I disable the chat? Imagine you go to a classroom and the teacher is talking, and then you say, "Sir, do you have an audible book?" I'm talking. I have a topic. Do you have an audible book? People, they are not here. Drink, drink some coffee. Wake up. By saying such a statement, this idiot, and making it a screenshot, and he put it in his own video. He froze the video to tell us this is a lie. So we Muslims, we don't take the Quran from Muhammad. So we took it from who? And then this coward, he says, okay, look, how Luke? Luke, he did not uh, become, you know, he's not a disciple of Jesus, just to show you how stupid idiot you are. Can the Muslims follow their own rules? Did Jesus say to Luke, write the Bible? Well, did Allah, did Muhammad say to Hafs or Warsh to recite the Quran and give it to you? Let us see what your stupid prophet he said. Muhammad, he said, Take the Quran from four. Take the Quran from who? From four. Muhammad, he is trying to copy the Christians. Otherwise, I challenge you, including Luke. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me why four. 
Why not five? Why not seven? So take the Quran from four. Who said that? The biggest poopoo, -poo, Muhammad. I heard Allah Messenger, please and peace on him, saying, learn a recite, learn the recitation. This is the Muslim translation. This is the Muslim translation, not mine. Learn the recitation from those names. Who? Ibn Mas'ud. Number one. Number one is Ibn Mas'ud. But Quran of Ibn Mas'ud is totally different from Quran of Hafs. So Allah Prophet, he says, take Ibn Mas'ud. He did not say take Hafs. The Muslim take Hafs. Can you believe it? And let me show you the huge difference between them. If we go, and we mentioned that already, but we will keep repeating it. So those who they, you know, never been here before, they can learn. This is the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. And I challenge this potato to say it's the same meaning, see, me. <laughs> and the sun runs into, in, in, into setting place, which is a stupid statement, you know, obviously proving that Muhammad is a fraud, because this is a stupid prophet who believe that the sun every day goes and disappear under the throne of Allah and ask Allah permission to come back. And actually the Muslim, they have videos saying, yes, this is true. This is the correct hadith. This is how prophet got you busted, apostate prophet. This is, yes, this is the correct hadith. The sun goes every day and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. And that's so good. That's so good. How you can tell me that this is not from God? The one who discover where the sun goes every day. First Muhammad he said that the sun set in a muddy warm spring of water, and this is Sahih Hadith. The Muslim now they will say no, it's weak. No. Sahih in chain, which means have no defect. Sahih al Isnad by the Sheikh of Al Alabani. And this potato Al Alabani, once I challenge him to debate me before he die. And then they put a piece of cotton in his in his in his butt. Uh, the Muslim they say the uh, Sheikh Alabani he have no time for you. He used to have a chat room. He don't even know how to use the computer. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey. The sun was sitting. He asked, "Do you know where this set?" I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. So obviously the sun set and rest in a station. And this is the station. It's a sperm, sorry, sorry the, the, the spring of warm water. Actually, it's not warm water. It's a hot water, Hamia. Hamia is not warm. Hamia is so hot, boiling. It's not warm. Is that a weak hadith? No. And this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a prophet from God, because only God, he knew those things, no one else. Then we continue, we find different hadith, which is the Muslim uh, Abduls in their page. They say, yes, yes, this is the true verse in the Quran. Yes, okay, what, what, what happened? Once I was sitting with, uh, with Allah, with Allah, uh, with, with Allah messenger prophet in the mosque and the, the time of the sunset, the prophet, Said Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? Muhammad, he's the guru. He, can, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He is, you know, he's dripping knowledge. The guy he walk, he dripped knowledge. He didn't drip poo, poo. This is knowledge. Take a note. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. And you see that the Muslims are mushrikeen. Muslims are mushrikeen. Mushrikeen mean they associate a man with God. You see, they say to us that we are associating man with God, but for us, we believe that God become a man, not man become a God. Here they associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. Allah and his apostle knows best. They became equal. And then he said, it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. 
and that is the statement that the sun runs into a fixed course okay and even they are quoting chapter 36 verse number 38 wonderful which is a proof that muhammad is an idiot of the village but now if we go to ibn kathir and we check the same chapter we are reading from we will find there is two reading for the same chapter there is what two reading which means totally different you see this guy he said the seven reading is not the same letters it's different but that's mean you fabricate reading too because if the seven re if the seven letters or ahraf is not the same as the seven reading that means somebody created those reading and they are not what allah gave muhammad <laughs> So he tried to fix it, he make it more stupid. So look what happened here. <clears throat> this is Ibn Kathir. And now they will say Ibn Kathir is a Hindu. Hey, hey, I like India, hey, hey. Ibn Kathir is a Hindu, and he don't like beef, hey. And here we go. Now they will say Ibn Kathir, he don't represent Islam, he is a liar, and he is a stupid, and he is not educated about Islam, and they don't even speak Arabic. But Sheikh Uthman, he speak Arabic for sure. Read with me and laugh. This is what the Quran is saying. In the Quran, they have by Hafs. And the sun runs to its fox course. If we go down a little bit, we will see Ibn Mas'ud saying the opposite. The sun does not run to its fixed course. Is that different reading? Or this is totally different, the opposite? The sun runs with no fixed course, brother, or a term. Okay. We go a little bit up. This is the reading of who? Ibn Mas'ud and Ibn Abbas. Two people who they were firsthand. One of them is the cousin of Muhammad. So the Muslims, their prophet, he ordered them to take the Quran from Ibn Mas'ud. They take it from who? They get, they get it from Hafs. Hafs, who the Muslims accused to be a fraud, and he's a liar, and he is a thief, and he's son of Muta. Do you see it? And by the way, the reading of the Quran is not uh, seven. They don't even know how many. Like in those videos, they say to you, there's ten. Some they say there is a twelve. There's some they say fifteen. They don't know because anyone can can play with it. It's a joke. But here the problem is bigger because this is opposing the other Quran. You see, if Allah He said that the sun runs into a fixed course or station, then you cannot say Allah He said the sun does not does not run to a fixed course. You cannot say the opposite. This is the, this is not just adding a letter or a word. This is changing the meaning backward. So if we take a, a screenshot for for uh, for the first statement here, I'm sure Ibn Kathir is so happy. And by the way, this is not only an Ibn Kathir book. We can. Uh, we can show you in many many other Islamic books. This is not a secret. I mean, we are not uh, uh, revealing, uh, but we are revealing something the Abduls themselves they don't know, because they are illiterate like their prophet. And illiteracy here is not about knowing how to write, how to read. It's about illiteracy in their own religion. So, do the sun run to its fixed course, or it doesn't run to a fixed course? Two different verses in two books both are quran but the same verse supposedly but they have total disagreement in the meaning opposite disagreement this is the first one from Hafs, and we will open the other one and we put it underneath so we can compare for you between the but between the two idiots so the different reading or different in harf or whatever it is, is not just like uh, they say to you, oh, there's a different way of recitation or the Arab, they have different way. This is a lie. First of all, what Arab? Those are one tribe. They live in the same town.
what Arab? So according to Hafs, we will spoil him and call him Hafusa. Hafusa. Oh, we are typing Arabic, hold on. Hafusa. I'm sure he will be happy now. And this is Mas'uda, Ibn Mas'ud. I like to spoil them, you know. So Hafusa, he says, well, the Allah, he said, the sun runs into its fixed uh, course. Mas'uda, he said, <laughs> you stupid, I was in the time of Muhammad. You came 200 years after, you potato. Huh? Who are you? The prophet, he said to us, and the sun runs with no fixed course for a term. And then Mas'uda, she said to Hafusa, and do you know that the prophet, peace be upon him, he said, take the Quran from Ibn Mas'ud, which is me? And then what the Muhammadan they do? They take the Quran, not from Ibn Mas'ud, they take it from Hafusa. <laughs> And do you see the stupidity? And they claim that they are the one who is following the steps of the Prophet. We are the one who obey the Prophet. The Prophet says, take the Quran of Mas'uda, the duty guy. Why do you take the Hufa guy? This guy, he came 200 years after Muhammad. How many years? 200 years, not two years, not 20 years, 200 years. And remember, this is dates Muslims they give, we don't know. I mean, it's, it might be even different. Maybe he does not even exist. Masouda, he came in a zero year, which means he was in the time of Muhammad. He witnessed all his poopoo. He was the first, first witness of Muhammad doing poopoo and the, he was asking the people to bring him three rocks to clean his ass. So he was there. Who is the one who should take his statement? The one who witnessed even he saw the ass of the prophet. He saw how he shake his penis three times when he pissed. He saw how he jump in the water, have dead dogs and women blood from period, and rags of the women, and stinky garbage. Or the one who never been there. So when a Muhammadan he says, how you take the Bible from Luke if Luke was not a disciple of Jesus who was a first witness, let me correct you, Abdul, from your books. You are a certified idiot. The problem is that the Muhammadan, they talk too much. And the more they talk, the more they do poo-poo. Certified poo-poo. This is your stupid Ibn Kathir, the book of Al-Bidaya and al nihayah volume number two, page number 119. Talking about the disciple Paul, all of you Muslims, you attack Paul, you say Paul fabricated Christianity. In your stupid books, it says Paul, he saw Jesus. Paul, he saw Jesus. And Jesus, he made him blind. I will use the Google translation and now I will tell you why I'm mentioning Paul now because later we will find that Luke is accompanying Paul and he accompanied the disciples. So he is a person who is the first witness of the first church of this disciple of Jesus. And Paul himself, according to Islam, according to Islam, this is Ibn Kathir. This is not a Christian guy. This guy, he fight the Christians. This guy, he wrote his book to you know, to, to prove the Christian wrong. It says, and I will translate using English uh, translation in a second. Let me start from here. Translate to English. 
I want the potato, the one who is arguing about Luke. <laughs> it says here, uh, Abu Hammam told us, Al Walid ibn Muslim told us, Al Haytham ibn Hamid told us, from potato, tomato, potato, potato, potato told us, the message of Allah told us. Okay. And here you will see uh, you will see a very funny story, you know, by the way. But just to show you how stupid this guy is. In the authority of etc. and of etc. blah 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 blah, you know, and the authority of Abu Brah, Rab, all, all of them the Arab, who say that the Messenger of Allah, peace upon him. Said and I don't know even the connection between that the, the sentence is very stupid. When Allah He took the life of David, they did not get misleaded and they did not change. But the disciple of Jesus and the follower of Jesus, they were not changing anything until 200 years after Christ. Who said that? The stupid Muhammad. The stupid Muhammad said that the Bible did not, never been changed, and the disciple of Jesus never changed anything in the first 200 years, so Luke is included. And not only that, I have a surprise for you, potato. You will see the name of Luke is mentioned here. And this is a hadith, is authentic by Ibn Habban. Ibn Habban is one of the biggest scholars. And Ibn Juraj, Ibn Jarir. And then here it says, That Jesus, peace be upon him, before he was raised, commanded the disciple to call the people to worship God alone, who has no partner, and appointed each of them to a group of people and one of regions of the left and the east, the Maghrib, which means the west. And they mentioned to everyone, mentioned that every one of them he spoke a language of those whom Christ had sent to him. Look at this. This is the stupid book of Muhammad. Saying that Jesus, when he sent his disciple, his disciples, they, and I can show you a different place in different uh, reference, where you know, they said to Jesus, how we would do that? How we, how we are going to go and speak in, to those people who don't speak? Actually, in the same same page, we will see that. So when they woke up in the morning, Jesus, he told them, don't worry, go sleep. When they woke up in the morning, they found that each one of them, he speak different language. And this is the Arabic in front of you, in case you are blind. So Jesus told the disciples, go and teach. And he divided them to go to different sections or territories. Like the Bilad Sham, which means Syria, Iraq, etc. And the East and the West. And the East and the West, that's wonderful. All the way to India, China. Which means all the, all the earth is covered. So how we can even change the Bible? I mean, isn't it stupid? If the Bible is spread all over, like they are not even connected together. They are in different territory. That's why right now in India, we have one of the oldest churches, Syriac church, church, which means Syrian church, but they are not Syrian, they are Indian. It's called Syriac because the one who come to them, he come with the Bible of the Syriac, which means the Aramaic Bible. So he told them to go and do teach. 
And when they came in the morning, they found that each one of them, he speak in different language, depend in the territory the, the Messiah he sent them to. Imagine this. Muhammad, he needed seven stupid letters so his people who speak the same language can understand it. <laughs> Jesus, he did not need seven letters. For he is God, he was able to make his disciples speak the languages. He did not give them seven books in seven languages. He made them the books. <laughs> and where we can find that potato? Ibn Kathir. If somebody have Ibn Kathir, this book, Ibn Kathir, Al Bidaya and Nihaya in English, and you can't find the reference, please give it to me so we can show it in English and share the link. So look what happened. Look at the huge differences between the stupid Muhammad and his false teaching, and the Muslims witnessing for Jesus that Jesus, he ordered his disciples to go and teach. He did not need seven letters, he did not need seven translation. He did not see, need seven uh, new books from God or from heaven to come. He changed them. He changed their languages. They woke up in the morning and they found each one of them. He speak the language of the place he is going to. So to make it simple, if Jesus says to me, tomorrow you will go to Germany to teach the Bible. I go to sleep. I find myself in the morning speak German. That's what it says. This is what it does say. So how in the world those Abdul, they are questioning who is Luke? And not only that, the story did not over yet. More than one stated that the gospel was transmitted from him by four, Luke, Matthew, Mark, and John. <laughs> and now he is saying here, you see here, here the stupidity of this religion. How you agree that they are sent by Jesus, and how you say that this guy, he said, Luke did not witness Jesus, and then the stupid Muslims, and the stupid Muhammad, he says, that the first 200 years of Christianity, there was no change whatsoever. And not only that, One of the prophets or the people of Damascus who believe in Christ. There's a person from Damascus. He believed in Christ. Okay, what happened to this person? His name is Dina. The names, the Muslim always, they get the name wrong. I know what they are talking about, but they got it wrong. And he was hiding in a cave inside the eastern gate of Damascus. In where? In the crucified church, as the Muslim they say here. In the translation. He was hiding because he is afraid of Paul. How many times we heard the Mohammedan saying, Paul never saved Jesus? How many times they attack Paul? The Quran speaks about Paul, and we mentioned that before. But here now they have more details. So this person is afraid of Paul because he became a Christian, and Paul is anti Christianity. And then this person who was hiding, as you read in the screen, from Paul who hit Christianity and he was a Jew and he was unjust and he hit the Messiah. So 
So this person supposedly, he shaved his head or the head of his nephew. I don't know what that had to do with the topic. Because simply he was unjust. So they are saying in somehow that Paul, he did that to this person. He like, he, he, he shaved his head because Paul was a person who hated, he hated the Messiah. And then they say they continue. When Paul, he heard that the Messiah is coming, he took his mule or horse and he went to Damascus to kill who? To kill the Messiah. Here you need to ask yourself, how stupid this religion is? How they can tell us about what happened to us and what happened to our disciples if they think that Paul, he went to Damascus to kill the Messiah. That means the Messiah was not killed yet. That means the Messiah is not resurrected yet. And that means the Messiah is not in heaven yet. According to their story. As you see, it says to kill him. <laughs> so according to the stupid Islamic religion, Paul exists as a person before Jesus or according to the story of Islam, before the Jews tried to kill Jesus. And where? In Damascus. So he took his mule to kill him, or his horse. But when he faced, he faced the companion of Christ. And here in his way, by the way, it says the translation here is star. This is false. It says here that uh, when he wanted to go to, uh, to, uh, to kill the Messiah, the English translation is coming funny. I cannot even follow with it. It says here that uh, Paul, he did shave the head of the, the nephew of this person. And then he took him around in the town, and then he stoned him to death until he met me. May Allah peace be upon him. And then when Paul, he heard that the Messiah is coming to Damascus, he took his mule and he went to kill him. And then he met him in Kaukaba. Kaukaba is a location supposedly close to Damascus. And then Paul, he met with the disciple of Jesus. But as soon he met with them, an angel he came. Who? An angel he came and he hit him. Read carefully. And when he faced the campaign of Christ, an angel came to him and struck his face with the tip of his wing and he blinded him. When he saw that, which means Paul, he believed in Christ. So he come to him and apologize for what he had done. Go right now and see how many stupid Abdul they keep saying to us, Paul never saw Jesus. Paul was not disciple of Jesus. So how Paul can teach you about Jesus? The Bible speaks that Christ, he appeared to Paul. If you ask yourself, where are the Muslims coming in, copying this? Where Muhammad is copying this stories from? It's from the Bible. So how Paul is a messenger of God and Luke is a messenger of Jesus, and yet the Muslims, they deny both. And how their prophet says that 200 years after Jesus, still the Christian never changed anything. And then the stupid Muhammad himself in the Quran, he says, 600 years after Luke, I confirm what they have between their hands. Do you see how the stupid doesn't work? 
when Muhammad he gave those verses in the Quran, and there are tons of them. As an example, we go with the first one, chapter 2, verse 89. When he say, confirm what they have between their hands. That was 600 years after Jesus. So how you confirm between their hands if you Muslim don't accept the book of Luke or the book of John or whatever book? This is 600 years after Jesus. Same time here, you will see this amazing story which the Muslim they put in their books about Jesus. A person who opposed Jesus, angel, he hit him in his eyes. He blinded him. Who can give him sight again? Jesus. So when the angel, he hit Paul over his eyes with the tip of his wing, as the story here say in the front of us, so when he saw that, he believed in Christ, so he come to him and apologized for what he had done. And he believed in him, and he accepted from him. It was accepted, which means the Messiah, he forgave him. And asked him to wipe his eyes, so God might restore sight on him. This is the Muslim translation, I mean, the Google translation. Can we really respect what Muslim they say to us about the religion? Obviously, we cannot. There's tons of contradiction here in the same story. And why Ibn Kathir, he will put this story there if the Muslim don't believe in it? If it's a fabrication. And then here it says, Paul's, Paul, he believed in Christ. Peace be upon him. That he is God's servant. Take a note here, he's God's servant. That's mean that Paul did not change anything. Muslim, they lied to us then. When they accuse Paul, they are being liars. And if there's a change, which is impossible because the Quran confirms 600 years after Paul that the, the Bible is still the same. And this is what we have today. And the church was built in his name. And then when the Messiah, he gave him his sight, a church built in the name of Paul. This is the church now in Damascus. If we go to different verse in the Quran, You will say something very stupid again. <clears throat> According to the Quran, The companion of Jesus and those who follow Jesus, they are going to be victorious until the day of judgment. Maybe this uh, phrase doesn't make much different for some, but it makes a huge difference. Because if the Quran is the word of Allah and Allah is God, and then Allah, he says that those who follow Jesus, they will be victorious from now until the day of judgment. That means nobody can corrupt the book of Jesus. Because how you can have victory if the book is gone? 
the first victory at least for you as a messenger if Jesus was a messenger as the Muhammad and they claim is to keep the book and this is what the Quran promise this is chapter 3 verse number 55 and remember the stupid Muhammad he claimed that Mary she is the daughter of Imran but Imran is the father of Moses and the father of Aaron because Muhammad the idiot he thought that Maryam, the mother of Jesus, is the same Maryam, the sister of Aaron. This is why it's mentioned that in different verses in the Quran. But here the important for us, it says, And when Allah, he said to Jesus, I'm gathering thee, which is very fast translation, it doesn't say gathering, it says, I'm causing the death of ye, which means I will, I will kill you. <laughs> I will cause you to die. Gathering, why Jesus was a drop of water when I gather him? Why Jesus was one hand in place and the other hand is up from place? What do you mean gathering thee? I mean, don't you Muslims even have a shame when you translate? You're fabricating everything. Gathering the... Why he was collected from somewhere? You change the translator. You go to a different idiot. You will find that there is different words. This... What is... Where is gathering the... Huh? Look at this here. This guy, he took gathering thee oh, at, oh, at all. He took causing your death. Take it off too. Suddenly it says, Isa, I will take you and rise you to myself. What where is, where is I will cause your death? What is gathering thee? The one was exist two seconds ago. It's gone. We changed the translator to different Abdul. Let us see, uh, you know, other uh, potato. The Rabadi, the Rabadi. Let us see the Rabadi. All of them are the Rabadi. Hmm. Look what happened here. One verse says, Gathering thee. The other verse says, Talk off, gathering thee. It says, I will take to myself, skip it. And then this guy, he's saying, Oh, Isa, surely I shall, surely I shall make thee die. And then I am lifting thee to myself. So Jesus have to die first. <laughs> so how Jesus was crucified <laughs> and then the Muslim to solve this problem they said to you well you know what Allah what he did uh, in Islam we believe there's two kind of death a death when you are asleep and death when you are wake up so Allah he made him sleep <laughs> I mean do you see how clear the Quran so Allah he made Jesus asleep and that is death I just I'm, I'm zombie now you know how many times I slept and I came up and slept and came. Man, that's so good. Then it says here, And I am going to place, I shall place, this is a translation of the Muhammadan, those who follow thee above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. We stop here. The teaching of Christ is going to be victorious. From now, until the day of resurrection, the verse in the front of you. Do we see it? So if the Bible is destroyed, then how those who follow Jesus, they can be victorious until the day of resurrection? They are not, because the only weapon they have in their hand is the teaching of Christ. Abu Malik, look, Abu Malik is a decent Muslim. He's saying, this is what your uh, elder, he taught you. But I don't do that. Hey, Abu Malik, do you want me to read the hadith for you where your prophet says, tell the one who is proud about his jahiliyyah, tell him to go and bite the penis of his father? Like, you know, the Muslims are noble people. We don't talk like this. Yeah, you don't. You are the one who follow a man. He says, go and suck the clitoris. You know, نحن لا نتكلم بهذا الشكل يا أخي. هذا ما علمكم كبيركم. لكن أخلاقي تمنعني. أولاد المتعة يتكلمون عن الأخلاق. أعدوه بهني أبي. امصص بضر اللات. 
And then they are giving us speeches about behavior and talking and being nice. The Quran call people monkeys, donkeys, kuffar, filthy, worse than animals. And then this guy is saying, I'm not going to talk like that. Yeah, you are better than your prophet. <laughs> But I bet you, when you go to your prophet, your own son's house, you flirt with the wife of your son like your prophet, don't you? Don't forget to take a video because you are following the steps of your prophet, the decent man. Who go to the wife of a married woman. She is married to his own son. He don't talk. So what if you are Shia or not? Shia is even more worse. You Shia, you have more garbage than the Muslims by million, million spaces. Shia, they deny the Quran. They say the Quran is with Fatima. Shia, they say we have to curse Abu Bakr and Umar and Aisha. Those are fraud. They are the enemy of Allah. Shia, they believe that uh, uh, Muhammad and Ali and the daughters of Muhammad, etc., Hassan and Hussein, they are made of the light of Allah. They are not human. They have a look of a human, but they are human. So don't tell me about the Shia. You as a Shia believe if you wear a, 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 a black shoes, your penis will not stand up. Do you wear black shoes? You Shia believe if you look at the anus of your wife, your, your son will become a homosexual. Or a mute in the best scenario. You Shia believe that Al Mahdi, how we know Al Mahdi, if he fell in down his in his butt, he will not fart. This is how you know the Mahdi. If he fell in his butt, he don't fart. That's amazing. Shall I do that? I will not fart. So supposedly, like, I'm Shia, I'm not Sunni. Like, you know, we have, we're different, you know, like, okay. You, you Shia, you believe in Al-Khumaini, the Harirul Wasila, you can have molestation to children even if they are infant. Wasairul istimta'a hatta bil fatima. Every sexual joy, even with the infant, is halal. You don't tell me I'm a Shia, you are no better. Ah, al mut'ah haram and ahl sunnah So it, it's halal and huh? So guys saying, he's saying, the Sunni, they, are, they, they don't do haram, uh, mut'ah. No, the, 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 the Sunni, they do mut'ah. They just change the name. So the Shia, they still do mut'ah. And the Muslim Sunni, they do mut'ah. Or what happened, they change the name. So now they have the wajah friend. They have uh, 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 orfi. They have uh, travel marriage. They have, uh, I mean, all kinds of marriage. It's all of it is mut'ah. All of us, we knew. They changed the name. Uh, anyway, so as you see here, the Quran confirmed that the book of Jesus shall not be changed because this is what is the proof of it, of victory. How they will be victorious? How they will be victorious? You cannot be victorious by losing the book, correct? So the Quran confirmed that those who follow Jesus, and that means from the first moment, they follow Jesus until the day of judgment. There's no disconnect. Read carefully. So we cannot say, oh, this verse here is speaking about the first generation who follow Jesus because it's case, it says, until the day of resurrection. Do you see it? So we just showed you that Luke is a messenger of Jesus according to their books. The Quran confirm our book and they say, no, this is a book that cannot confirm. The Quran confirm our book 600 years after Jesus and then those fools, they say, we don't accept it. Their book confirmed that Jesus, he can make his disciples speak languages. Speak what? Languages. They do not need Ahruf, stupid things. I mean, what kind of God, he cannot explain his book in the same language. So he need to make seven languages, seven Arabic. And as you see, they are different. The sun set in a resting place is not the same as the sun does not set in a resting place. It's totally the opposite. So what the point of those reading? They made confusion. And we have a proof from the Bible that Luke, he was a person who accompanied the disciples. 
So he learned from the first witnesses of Jesus too. And he wrote in their time, and nobody opposed him in what he say. If you go actually to the book of Luke, from the beginning you see that Luke is a companion. of Paul. And here we have another question. I want you to take a screenshot of this. Because this is very important. You know, when you open the Quran, most of you do not speak Arabic. But I don't know if the Quran you have in your hand, it have a translation for the first pages. Most of them, they don't. But here it says, and I changed the Muslim to say, we are not telling the truth. Riwaya to Hazel Mushaf. Riwaya is the tell. 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 It's not a book written. It's not, it's, it's a person telling, okay? Had al-Mushaf, not the Qur'an, this book, they never call it Qur'an. Mushaf is not Qur'an. Mushaf is coming from Suhuf. Suhuf means pages. That's why if we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will see the Qur'an described. As an example, the books of Abraham. How we describe it? Or Musa's? Suhuf, not one, Suhuf. The Muslim the translation say, says, the right of Ibrahim and Musa's. And I find it very funny and very stupid here. You see, that is why you cannot take the Muslim translation. I mean, what, what right? What right? Suhaf is a right of, uh, of uh, let us change the translator. Hilali and Khan. <laughs> the scriptures of Ibrahim. This is what the script. Suhaf is the scriptures. We change it. So first was a writer, the right. Now the scriptures. But remember, Ibrahim does not have a scriptures. If those are scriptures, they are scriptures of God. What, what do you mean the scriptures of Ibrahim and Moses? Is Moses God? Biktar. The books of Ibrahim and Moses, they are so desperate, they cannot find the answer. But Suhaf is pages. We can go right now. That's why in Arabic we say Sahifa. Sahifa, a newspaper, page. Sahifa, it's not a book. And this word appears in the Quran in many places. 53, verse number 36, 80, 80, 13, 87, 19. I think there's more too. But this Quran is written according to papers. But we just saw Uthman saying, well, Warsh and Hafs did not write anything. It's a lie. Did we see them? Did we see uh, this potato saying that? Let me show you the, the screenshot. Here we go. I will open it in case you did not have the memory. Um, I have too many uh, screenshots. We need to take some of them out. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We found it. He said it is lie number one. It is what? 
it is lie number one to say that this Hafs and Warsh wrote the Quran from Prophet Muhammad. It's lie number one. It's not true. That's wonderful. So Hafs and Warsh, they never wrote Quran and they never take Quran from Muhammad according to his potato. And yet he is claiming that this guy is lying. We go now to the Quran, we will find here. Oh, we need to go back. Oh, no. All right. So this Quran is written according to the tale of the following. Read and love. Which agree with the tale of Hafs, not even recitation, the tale of Hafs. Ibn Sulaiman, Al Mughira, Al Mughira Al Asadi, Al Kufi. According to the reading or reciting of Asim, according to or from. Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah Ibn Habib. According to Uthman Ibn Affan. According to Ali Ibn Abi Talib. According to Zayd Ibn Thabit. According to Abi Ibn Kaab. According to Muhammad. So look how many according to we have. And yet this is a book is a trustworthy. And when we say that this is according to recitation, that's mean for sure we do not have the book. Because if we have the book, there is no need for recitation. When our friend, the Christian brother from Pakistan, he asked this potato, Uthman, why Uthman he did burn the Quran? Next time, my friend, you should be consistent and force him to answer. Don't skip that important question. If the Quran is the same Quran, then Uthman should not burn the other Qurans. The first one who burned the Quran, it was Uthman. And now after burning the Quran, we have a lot of differences, as we showed you. There's a huge difference between the sun rest in rest in place and the other verse saying by Ibn Mas'ud. The sun does not rest and rest in place. Which one of them? They are the opposite. So it's not different reading. It's different Quran. And we saw how Jesus, according to Muslims, his disciples, they woke up in the morning, they speak languages because he ordered them to go and teach and preach the whole world. And by the way, this is defeat all the lies Muhammad and they have to us in their religion saying that Jesus was sent only to the Jews. I mean, look at the stupidity of this cult. How you keep saying that Jesus was sent only to the Jews, and then in your books, you idiot, you say that Jesus, he told them to speak in different languages, he sent them to different territory in the earth, and then they woke up and they found themselves speaking in different languages. If they were sent to the Jews only, that's it, Hebrew. I mean, do you see the stupidity of this cult? They woke up in the morning, Jesus, he told them to go and speak in different regions, to the east, to the west, to the Maghrib, to the Shark, to Europe, to Asia. And when they woke up, each one of them, every one of them, he spoke a language, which whom Christ has sent him to. You see how this religion does not match its own, its own books? So in one hand, they keep saying Jesus was sent to Israel, Jesus was sent to Israel, and then in this stupid book, they say that the Christian disciples, the disciple of Jesus, uh, Jesus, he made a miracle for them. They wake up in the morning, they found themselves speaking different languages, and this what is to confirm what the Bible is speaking about, speaking in tongues. Speaking in a language they did not learn, never learn before. So here you notice that Jesus, he did not need 
seven letters, which is a stupid, because why the Jews, why Musa did not ask for the same request of Muhammad? Why Musa did not say, well, you know what, I have many tribes and they have many dialect, and I need seven letters, my people, they are, they cannot handle it. Why Abraham did not receive seven books? According to Islam, Allah, he sent 124,000 messengers. Why only Muhammad? His people, they cannot handle it. The answer is very simple. And actually, this Uthman, he says, the angel Jibreel, he came to Muhammad, and then the prophet, he says to him, I seek burden from Allah, I want more. So he sent him another harf, which means new Quran. And then he said more, and he said, he sent him a new Quran. I mean, here you see the stupidity. Is that, a, is that a bazaar of Afghanistan? Like, what is the price for tomato? Can you, can you give me a discount? Have you ever heard of a prophet, he is correcting his God? So the God of, of Islam, do he knew that one Quran is not enough? Or he don't? So here the story is an insult to the stupidity of the Muhammadan. It's an insult to their God if he exists, and he is not. And when our friend, the Christian, said to him, Allah does not exist, he opened the translation, a Bible translation to prove that Allah is there. You stupid, this is a translation. If I ask you right now, can you show me the word Jesus in your Arabic Quran? You will not be able to find it. But you will find it in English. This is a false translation. There's no Jesus in the Quran. There's Isa. And the one who put the word Allah in the Arabic translation, this is a false translation because translation should translate, not to change names. You know, I can take it like the Muslim, they say, uh, the translation says Muhammad, because they cannot, you cannot write the word Muhammad in English because simply you do not have equal letters. Ar-Rahman, there is nothing that's called Ar-Rahman Ar -Rahman in Arabic. It is Rahman. But okay, well, they don't have an equal letter, so they exchange the Ha with Ha, no problem. I will not call that as a change of a name. But... When you translate, you write names as they are. And was, this was again a big failure in Islam because how in the world Yeshua became Isa? You tell me. But I have the answer, you don't. The stupid Muhammad, he thought that Mary, or Maryam, as we call her in Arabic, she is the sister of Aaron. And Muhammad later, when, her, when a rabbi, a Jewish rabbi, who don't believe in Christianity anyway, he came to Aisha and he said, well, you know what, but this is wrong. There's hundreds of years between Aaron and Maryam, the mother of Jesus. You know? Aisha, she said to him, Kadhabt, you're a liar. Which means this is true, what Muhammad he meant. And then when Muhammad, he came home, she told him, so now Muhammad, you want to fix it. So he said, oh, at that time, they used to call them by their great ancestor. But Miriam is not from the ancestor of Aaron. Secondly, she is from different tribe. Number three, how in the world she became ancestor of Aaron? What about ancestor, oh, sorry, a sister of, uh, I mean, it's an insult actually to say that. Let me explain to you. Can I say, Mary is the sister of Abraham? <laughs> that is really weird. So Muhammad here, he made a popo. And Muhammad, he wanted to fix it, but it was too late. Why? Because in different verse, the idiot, he said that Mary, she, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she is a daughter of a man. His name is Umran. Umran is the father. Even, even Umran, the name is wrong, by the way. Muhammad is quoting Umram, 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 
to Amran. He's an idiot. Here you see the story of Mary. This is the mother of Mary, the wife of Amran. She make a vow, and then when she gave birth, she said, okay, you know what? I will call her Maryam. So the stupid Muhammad, he mixed between Maryam, the sister of Aaron, and he think they are from the same father. This is why the father name is Imran, as you see, which is his name of the father of Aaron. And the holy chapter actually here is speaking about the people of Imran. That's why they call it chapter of Imran. Al, al Imran. Al mean the family, which is not an Arabic word anyway. And you will notice here, Muhammad the idiot, the more he talks, the more he make poo-poo. Allah prefer Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Amran above all creatures or whatever he created. So the stupid Muhammad again confirmed that Moses is from Alu Imran and Aaron from Alu Imran and they are the brothers of Mary. If they are not from the same family, so where, how you escape Moses, then where is Moses? Look, the family of Ibrahim. And then he jumped to the family of Imran. Are we learning? Did I give you too much headache today? Did I give you a headache? I hope, you know, maybe I should not continue. Yesterday I stayed almost for six hours, and I, otherwise I'm going to stay for many. You know, I, I have a passion to teach, as you know, and uh, when you say something, information starts coming from everywhere. So you, you might be like, you know, you, you notice yourself, you are taking too much information, and maybe you are not used to it. Uh, but this is how I am, you know, I, I wish I can make a shorter video. I, I tried actually, I made one, but I need, I need to like set a timer so I can make it shorter. Uh, but you will notice that, you know, information brings other information and all of this will take us into knowledge. Knowledge is power, my friend. Knowledge is power. Those potatoes, they flourish when they speak to people who have no knowledge. When you have no knowledge, anyone can take you down in anything, any field, not only religion, anything, you know, I mean, uh, economy is like, like two days ago, actually, I will, I will mention to you something. There's one of you, he sent me, uh, he asked me an advice. He said to me, we will take a break from the garbage of Muhammad. He said to me, I have little money because you remember the other day I was talking about, uh, you know, those uh, economy, you know, invest in real estate, etc. So he said, I'm thinking to buy stocks in facebook this is a this is a business will never go bankrupt i told him don't he said do you know how it's increased the price of stocks i said don't those they can shut down in a day he said well thank you to your advice but you are not helping he'll get upset from me because i did not say yeah go for it <laughs> yesterday facebook lost almost 25 percent of the value so this poor guy, if he have a hundred thousand, he bought. I don't know if he bought the stock or not. I did not talk to him. I hope not. If he bought the stocks, in that day he spoke to me, which two days ago, he will wake up in the morning. He will find he lost twenty five thousand. You see how how greedy people are. This is, this is how Islam is, by the way. Islam is a gambling. Even Muhammad, he said, that 
My nation will be 73 sect. Okay, what about the Christian? There will be 71. So it's a gambling, which means playing as a Christian is better if it's gambling. So when you go to those businesses, you are gambling, my friend. This is not an investment. Those business can disappear overnight. You put all the saving you have in your life. He's a poor guy. I mean, this guy, God knows how much. But I mean, he, he spent his life hard working to save little money. And then what? You put it in a Facebook? And then what you will get? You wake up in the morning, you find that your money is gone. This is exactly as being a Muslim. Look what the Edith Muhammad he said. The Prophet says the Jews were split into 71, 72 sect. The Christian, they were split into 71 or 72 sect. My community will split into 73 sect. So seven Quran reading did not make Muslims more di less divided. Did you notice? Muhammad, he asked, Allah for seven letters to make the Quran supposedly more acceptable, more understood. So, you know, they will not have division, but look what happened. After seven Quran, the Muslims, they are 73 sect. This is according to Muhammad. If, if you Muslim, you say this is not true, then Muhammad is a false prophet. So, the Muslims, after they receive the seven Quran, they are more divided than the Christians who did not receive seven Bibles. So how we will know which sect now to go to? The Muslim, they say to you, al jamaah the main body. You know, well, al jamaah they are not the main body because Muhammad, he says, Islam starts as a small and it will end as a small. So the small body is the Jama'ah then. The minority. Well, maybe those are the Ahmadiyya. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to mention this about Facebook. I hope that this guy, he did not, he listened to me, he did not buy those stocks. I told him, go buy a land, buy a house, buy something, man. Don't trust your money. This is just a, you know, people are greedy. They dream, you know, especially the poor people, by the way. The poor people, they are the, the easiest one to deceive. Why? Because they are dreaming to go out of their poorness. I have like $10,000. How I can make them a million? You want to go, you know, it's like going to the casino. This, people who go to the casino usually are not rich, are poor, because they are dreaming to, to, to become rich. So they go to the casino and they get destroyed there. And then they go out and they commit suicide because they lost everything. Islam is a gambling, my friend. And not only that, even Muhammad, he confirmed. You see, you ask a Muslim, oh, okay, what is reading the Quran will do? Oh, he says, this is a good deed for us. Uh, what about the Hajj? Oh, this is other deed. Uh, okay. What about doing jihad? Oh, this is a big deed, brother. Okay, and then we find that all those deeds is useless. Uh, there's no deeds. It's just luck. Good luck. Read and love. What is going to save the Muslims? There is tons of verses in the Quran saying his act, jihad, uh, you know, giving charity by stealing money from the Jews and the Christians, and then you give it to somebody else. For sure, you take the majority, and then you give five dollars to the poor Muslims. Suppose you are making charity now, uh, but then we find that all of this is a, is a joke. None of you will be rescued by his work. Who said that, Muhammad? So what you will be rescued by? Mercy of Allah. So why keep saying to them, if you do jihad, 
before even the blood, your drop of a blood touch the ground, Allah forgive all your sin and he show you the naked women. That was a false promise, yes. Because as you see, this is a contradiction. Do we have any question? Yeah, I know, like if, if you ask the Muslims, what is the proof? If there is any Muslim Sheikh here would like to call me? If there is any Muslim Sheikh, someone he have knowledge, not a kid, would like to call me, if yes, let me know. Then I will open Skype just to take you. If you ask the Muhammad, then what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? They will give you all kind of funny stories like, do you know, brother, that the prophet said the salty water and fresh water didn't mix? My friend, this is a mistake. This is not a science. This is a stupid mistake. Fresh water and salty water mix every second. Go to the kitchen right now. If you live next to the beach, you know, this may be better. Get some salty water from the beach, bring it home, and get one or you know and then they are just put one ball of uh, of uh, salty water with one ball of fresh water let us see if they mix or not how is stupid god he says such a stupid thing you cannot be god and stupid in the same time And what make it more funny, they say to you, that, can you make a Quran is a stupid? Can you make a Quran like it? I mean, I'm telling you, the Quran is a stupid. Okay, I have now, I, I will make Quran like a Quran. Hmm. Look, we go back here. Here it says, this Quran says, وَالشَّمْسْ وَتَجْرِيلِ مُسْتَقَرٍ لَهَا And the sun run to a, to a resting station, which is a stupid. We go here, it says, and the sun does not run to resting place. So, which Quran is better, my friend? Who is a Muslim can tell me which Quran of those is better than the other Quran? They are the opposite. Does it run to its fixed course or it's run to fixed course? If you say it does not, then it's not. It's not the same. So here you see that Allah is making Quran against the Quran of Allah. One verse says it is a the sun run to a fifth course, and the other verse saying, oh, but the Muslim, they will say, oh, this is not in one Quran. It's a different Quran. How you can have two Quran saying two opposite things? How God can, this is about science, where the sun goes. So how in one verse he says the sun run to a resting station and the other verse says the sun does not run to a resting station. Which one of them? Do we have any Mohammedan Sheikh would like to call me live on air? Get me busted? Anyone? You know, we have to agree that Muhammad is the smartest between donkeys. He is. Because how in the world you can convince them that you have a shaitan and your shaitan is a Muslim? I mean, how in the world is this? What this guy is speaking about? Muhammad is the only human being who has a shaitan, but he was able to convert his shaitan to Islam. Yes, brother. And not only that, he became a Muslim. And not only that, he commanded him to do good. He is the only prophet who received command from Allah aka shaitan. Claiming that the shaitan is a good shaitan.
Any one of you have a good shaitan commanded him good things? How in the world this person is a prophet? He received command from shaitan? And the Muhammadan around him did not notice that this is stupid? So who is Allah then? Who is the one who gave Muhammad commands, Allah or shaitan? And as you see, this is Sahih Muslim and the Bukhari, they cannot say this is weak. And you know, the, the game of uh, we accept, we don't accept. <clears throat> Which a messenger of Allah, he receives satanic verses beside Muhammad, Muslims. Is that what Muhammad is speaking about? He received good command from shaitan. Is that the satanic verses? Which Allah will cancel from the Quran? And what make it more funny, that the Muslims, they say, Oh, we know the Quran is preserved. Uh, how Allah, how, how preserve it? Allah will take what shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. Oh, hold on, it's too late. He throw it already. So how that is preserved? He took, he took it from where? Allah, he took it from where exactly? Any Muslim can tell me? Allah will take it from where? If the Quran was written as a book and the Muslims are reciting Quran as you claim, so Allah, he took the satanic verses from where? He made all the Muslims forget about it? If you say yes, that means you are a joker. Why? Because we have the verses written in your books saying what Muhammad he said, so nobody forgot about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If Allah will take it off, Allah will cancel it. And Allah will make us forget about it. Then we find the Muslims in their books, they speak about it and they, they tell us exactly what Muhammad said. So it's not canceled, it's there. In the top of that, how Muhammad, he receives satanic verses. Isn't he protected by Allah? Today is a Friday and uh, I hope this video will be a good snack for you guys. We have two videos now. The one yesterday, five hours. And this one is shorter. Let me see how long this one is. Okay. Uh, one hour and 27 minutes and 56. Okay. So almost uh, one hour and a half. So I want to say really thank you for being here. And I apologize if I'm being tough on you. Like if you say things in the, t in the chat that have nothing to do with the topic. Because this is really make me upset. I'm a person who come here. I'm not coming to chat. I'm not coming to say hello. How are you doing? We are coming here to save life, to change life. So I want people to take what we say very serious. I disabled the chat before because I want people to focus on what we are saying. I want people learning. I want you to download those videos because every one of those videos is a school by itself. If you go right now and try to find what I just said in this video by your own, it will take you a lifetime. For many reasons. Number one, you don't speak the language. Number two, you do not know how to find the re reference. Number three, how you connect them together. So download the video, save them, even if you are not going to pause them in YouTube again. You can post them actually in YouTube as a private file. Nobody will see it. So you, have, you, have, you make your own library. YouTube does not forbid you from doing that. You can load 1,000 YouTube videos and make them all private, which means nobody will see what you have in YouTube, only for you. So I say we are grateful for the Lord that those Muslim foolish speaker corners and speaker, you know, uh, uh, bottoms they speak and the more they talk, the more, oh, actually there's one of you, by the way, he made a comment in the previous video about a Muslim sheikh is asking the Muslim to be the dogs of Allah. Can you believe it? The link is there, go and watch it. And all the Muslims, they start saying, ho, 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 ho. And he tell them, yes, we are now the dogs of Allah. I mean, have you, can, can you believe the madness of this religion? 
A sheikh is asking if, if the admin doing the, the link, uh, give, give it to me. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. I mean, the guy, he posed the link. He said, I want to post this to Christian Prince. I don't open links usually. You know, I don't, you know, I don't trust them. Uh, so. Let me see if I can find it. I literally died laughing. What kind of religion this religion is? A sheikh is teaching the Muslim to say that they are the dogs of Allah, and then they, he asks them to say, how, 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 how? I hope they did not take the... <clears throat> the video down. Oh, I found another one saying the same. But this one saying we are the dogs of Muhammad. Um, okay, let's do this here. Filter. Let us see today. So this video is not from today. Then no, it does go. The dogs of Muhammad. Oh, okay, dogs of Muhammad. All right. All right, dogs of Muhammad, not dogs of Allah. Ah, that's even better. Yeah, here we go. Actually, here we go. But this is a different page, actually. I found it a different page. Hold on. But I don't want to... I don't know if this is the one. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me play it first. Okay, I don't want the music. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. I found it. This one out in here, man. What the heck? What? What? What happened to humanity? I mean, I saw many garbage of this religion, but this is the first time I witnessed such a stupid thing. The Sheikh is teaching them to say we are the dogs of Allah and we are the dogs of Muhammad in different video. So be the good dog of Allah. He's saying to them in the translation, I don't speak the language as you know. So he's saying, let us show the translation, actually, hold on. So uh, he is saying to them, uh, so be the good dog. Let's see here. All dogs are of Allah, doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't matter. Black dog or white dog? Uh, wrong, my friend. Muhammad, he said the black dog is a shaitan. You're an idiot. So Akaji ki azmat ke saamne haman sun to kuch nahi hai. So Akaji ke kutte ban ke hau hau karo. Hau 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 hau. Hau 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 hau. No comment. <laughs> Let me post the link for you. So you can download it and share it around. Basically this is a priceless, you know. I mean, imagine, man. I mean, what's wrong with this? This is God religion? How, how, how? Don't forget to download it because the Muslims, they try to hide it. Especially if you are a person who speaks the language. I don't know. I mean, I don't speak Pakistani. I think this is a Pakistani language, right? Urdu, I'm not sure what this is, language is. But they look like they are from Pakistan or something like this. So, 
هو 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 I leave you with the how of Allah. <laughs> and the funny how they go crazy, all of them, how, 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 they get excited. They get so excited. How, 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 how. I wish we can find the real video because here I see that an image and audio. But maybe we can find the real video. Hold on. Or maybe at the at the end of it, it ends with how how how. Ah, uh, here there's uh, there's more of the video. Hold on. Look at this guy here. This is another. This is a different shake. He's saying the same. How how how. कुत्ते हैं वो 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 सर आप हंस रहे हैं यानी ये वो नारा लगवाते हैं वो कहते हैं आका जी के कुत्ते हैं और बेटर स्टॉप हियर अदरवाइज द नेबर डॉग्स विल गो क्रेजी दे आर बिग एंड ह्यूज यू नो अनबिलीवेबल या एक्चुअली मोहम्मद ही सेड When his cousin refused to believe in the God of the Star, he said to him, "Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you?" Allah has a dog, and He will eat you. And according to the story, when this guy, the cousin of Muhammad, he went to a trip to a Yemen, the dog of Allah came and ate him, and he made him shish kebab hummus. Hmm. So anyway, as you see, this is a mental retarded religion. Even Borat, even Borat will not come with such a thing. Even Borat. Borat can come with a better religion from Muhammad. At least it's peaceful somehow. So salute Borat, but don't salute Muhammad. Thank you all for being here. I hope we have a good time today. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. And don't ever let the liars lie to you. Expose them immediately. How? by learning, taking notes, save a reference. And hey, by the way, uh, I did not share with you the link for the story of the disciple of Jesus in the book of Mikathir, correct? Let me share it with you. I will shorten the link. And maybe the admins can later post it in the comment section. And by the way, the admins maybe do not know, you can Uh, uh, manage the comment after we finish many of you do not know you think you're just an admin here but in fact if you see somebody posting links we have, don't approve you can delete them if you see a comment is rude filthy you can delete them admins in the chat here they can admin in the comment too in case you do not know so I would like to see the admins taking care of that so here the link I shortened the link about Ibn Kathir You have the page number, you have the reference, you have the value number, you have the Muslim uh, website. At the same time, you can use always Google, even if you do not speak Arabic. I want to say thank you. If in the future I ask you, which book we mentioned to you that the Muslim believe that Jesus, he sent his disciple and they speak languages? They woke up in the morning, they speak languages. What you will say? It is the book of Ibn Kathir, value number two. Page number 119. And the book is The Beginning and the End of Ibn Kathir. Because Muslims always they play the game. What it says that? And they are wishing that you just heard it, but you don't have it. What do you heard that? You can make a file in your email for links, make notes. Anytime you need them, you are in the street or somewhere, you open your email. Oh, this is the email. It says, uh, the Jesus, he, uh, Paul, he saw Jesus. And Paul, he made, uh, Jesus made him blind and he be be became a Christian. And he accepted the forg his forgiveness by Jesus. And then Jesus, he uh, uh, blessed Paul. And Paul, he was a decent person. And here it says that the disciple of Jesus, they wrote for Bible. And they spoke different languages. Then how in the world? 
Allah, he need to send seven letters when all the solution is so easy, especially we are talking about letters for people who speak the same language. This is stupid. Jesus, he do not need seven letters. He sent disciples and they spoke in tongues. This is why when the Jews, they question Jesus when he forgives sin. In their mind, they start saying, and he can read their mind, who is this person who's forgiving sin? So Jesus said, which one is easier to say to him, your sin is forgiven, or carry your bed and move, walk? Which one is easy, easier? And here, ask yourself, which one is easier? God, he make the book, his book, in tongues, in languages, or to say in the same language in seven time, just to make the seven the same people understand the book, and yet they don't understand the book. What about people of Pakistan and Afghanistan and India and Indonesia? If the Arab they need seven Quran to understand the Quran, and then after the seven Quran they became seventy three sect, and the Christian they are seven to one sect, and after they understand the Quran they came to the interpretation which is against what the Quran is saying, and the Muslims disagree about what the mean of the verse mean. And then the Quran says, we made the Quran so clear, and then we find that the Quran is not clear. So the seven letters of the Quran did what exactly? Did they make the Quran more clear? The answer, no. Actually, it made many Muslims leave Islam. Even some of them, they claim to be scholars. Even the companion of Muhammad, one of the most important companion, he said, فَسَقَطَ فِي نَفْسِي When this happened, when I heard about the Ahraf, I lost my faith. And Satan start whispering in my head to leave Islam. That's what the statement Muslims saying that. So those seven letters did not work in the direction Allah he want. If this is true, it worked in the opposite way. And that's why today we are laughing at the Quran. A God who need to make seven Quran to explain one Quran. And yet the Muhammadan, they say, who can make Quran like Allah? I mean, do you see how good this Quran to the point I need to write, rewrite it seven times? So you might understand how stupid is my writing. Imagine if Shakespeare, he wrote a book, and then people did not get it. Oh, okay, you know what? I will write the second one, the same one, but I will write it a different way. Two one, twice now. Uh, they don't get it. Okay, well, let us do it three times. English people did not get it. And okay, let us write it uh, 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 four times. English people still did not get it. Okay, let us make it five times. I mean, is that a joke? So after writing all of this books seven times, still the Muhammadan, they agree about not to agree about what the verse mean. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, was the Quran preserved? Check. Then we find that the goat is eating the Quran. And the Quran confirmed that the Quran is preserved. I challenge all those Muhammadan who they are going to watch the video later to tell me, to recite for me the 10 time breastfeeding for adult verses. I want them. Tell me where they are. <laughs> I will be waiting for you. And not to forget to mention how in the world there's a God he sent verses for women to give their breasts to strangers who they are adult. Is that a porn religion? Is that a hippie cult? Women, they wear burqa, but they give their nipples to strangers to suck it 10 different times. And this is Quran. So the goat ate the Quran. And then the goat ate the verses. And obviously the goat did not eat only the verses in the paper. They ate the verses in the memory of the Muslims. Your God is a goat. Right? Uh, will you do a video of debate? Even my friend, I don't. Uh, I'm not. I don't have time for a posted prophet. You know, I supported them before, trying to to help them. But you know, their debate is a silly. I find Muslims' debate is silly, and uh, uh, the other side usually they are not really. Uh, they, they did not did not learn how to debate the Muslims until now. You will notice that those who speak against Islam, I don't. I don't want to mention names. When they make videos, they speak good. They have a good point. 
But when they are debating the Muslims, their point is not there. Why you are why, why you are not mentioning what you just said in the previous video? This guy or that guy, he's an atheist, he, whatever he is. I am not going to, you know, make videos about other people debate. It doesn't count for me, for a very simple reason. Debate have to be between two knowledgeable people, and none of them is knowledgeable. Either the atheist or the Muslim. This is a kid's debate. In a kid's debate, you can say whatever you want. When Mimi Hijab, he spoke to David Wood, he said to him, David Wood, he said to him, Allah have hands, he have body part. He said, who said so? Well, why Mimi Hijab, he can say such a thing? Because he's a kid. That's why you don't debate with kids. You can take a phone call with a kid, let everybody laugh at the kid, but you don't debate a kid. If you debate a kid, he will make a mockery of you. So those are kids making mockery. They don't dare to call me because I can make their mockery a mockery on them. This is why you notice they ambush someone like apostate prophet, but they will never ambush me. Here we go, ambush me. <laughs> you know? Because they can do mockery of those nice people. They are nice people, you know? That's why they, they line up to debate them. Where is, the, where is this potato, Ali Dawah, to let me call him? Just let me call you. When I called their, his girlfriend, Mimi Hijab, he hung up on me seven times. He did not let me ask one question, and he did not even let me answer the question. He had 30 seconds to answer. Hang up on him. And they cut videos and do the editing. Did you say that? Yes, I did say that. I was copying, I was quoting your stupid prophet. Hang up on him, pastor. <laughs> he don't dare. Ambush me. I dare you. A bunch of potatoes. All of them, they want to debate me only face to face. But here, as you see, they debate them in the internet. They invite everybody to speak to them in the internet, but they don't dare to do the same with me. For a very simple reason. He left as a donkey, he never come back as a horse. They cannot say to me what they say to David Wood or Apostle Prophet. They cannot. They knew their size and their limit. This is why they stay away from the fire. Otherwise, they will be burned like matches. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Uh, I hanged up on Fifi. I never called Fifi. And according to Muslim, he never called me. So you are a stupid donkey. You hang up on Fifi. So how he say I never called me? <laughs> You watch his video saying I hang up on him? That's mean he called me. So what is the debate? Did you like it? As long as I called him, watch the debate and love them. My friend, I hang up on kids. And Fifi is a kid, but he don't dare to call me anyway. Do he dare? All of you are the same. All of you have the same problem. You are willing to call everybody. Except me. You are willing to take the call from everybody. Except me. Face it and deal with it. If you know somebody he claimed to be a sheikh, a real sheikh, not like those kids, we will be happy to have him. We will not put conditions. He can call me, he can say whatever he wants. There's no conditions. I advise the Christians, and I advise the Muslims too. A real debate is not five minutes for you, five minutes for me. It's two people talking, and one of them trying to prove the other one wrong. Five minutes for me, five minutes for you. It's just a joke, because you end with nothing. And I advise you, stay away from mockery, because we have a lot of weapon to use to make a mockery of your prophet, because he is the best idol of mockery. I cannot find even one thing is not mockery about him. When, it's, when your prophet, he says his penis did not work and he invoked Allah to send a dish of shish kebab, is that a mockery or this is a good thing? 
a prophet of God, his penis is not working. Then the God of this prophet, he need to go to the kitchen. And then he need to make a recipe. And then he need to make shish kebab. And then he send the shish kebab dish with Jibreel. And Jibreel come to the door. And then Jibreel, he opened the door. And he said to Muhammad Khabibi, eat this dish. Muhammad, he ate the dish and with his Fatima, would make it more problem is Fatima eating with him. So Muhammad, he got the power of 40 men and boom, boom. Did Fatima get the same power? Have you ever heard of a god? He cannot fix the penis of his prophet unless he send him a dish of shish kebab. Isn't the Muslim they say if Allah wants something, he say B is going to be? I mean, how simple it is. Even the penis of Muhammad could not fix it. He gave him food. I never heard of a god like this. You go to the doctor, you say to him, oh, it's not working. He give you a oh, Viagra. Is that the doctor is Allah then? What is different? So the God, he fixed the penis of his prophet by a dish of food. The God, he fixed the intelligence of his prophet by a dish of wisdom. Have you ever heard of a wisdom coming in dishes? So my friend, uh, If you have little brain, ask yourself a very simple question. When Allah he installed a dish of wisdom in the chest of Muhammad, and the nerves of Muhammad, Allah was trying to fix Muhammad. Obviously, this is maintenance. Obviously, Muhammad is not qualified to be a messenger of Allah. Allah, he decided to make a surgery. And this is the hadith in front of you. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. The Muslim, they cannot say, it's a lie. Jibreel, he opened the part of his body between his throat and his middle of his chest. He took the material out of his chest. Muhammad is very dirty from inside, my friend. Very dirty scumbag. And then, after he took the material, material, screws, drivers, etc., you know, and then, he opened his chest all the way to abandonment and then washed the zamzam water and uh, his own hand and cleans inside his body. Okay, so now Muhammad is clean from inside, brother. And then a golden tray containing golden bowl full of belief and wisdom. Have you ever heard of a stupid garbage like this before? God, he sent a golden tray in golden bowl full of wisdom and faith. Hey. Listen, we got a way to scam people now. My name is the Prophet Muhammad. If you'd like to receive a dish of wisdom, call me at 1-800-DISH-WISDOM. You idiot. This is the number. Dish wisdom, you idiot. Because if you call this number to get the dish of wisdom, obviously you're an idiot. So God, he decided to make Muhammad smart. How he make him smart? Obviously, Muhammad, they have something wrong with him. His wisdom is not good. Allah, he need to do a special edition. He thought about taking Muhammad to heaven. He said to himself, look, what the heck? This guy is really screwed up. I can't take him up. He's not ready. We need to do some repair. So he called Jibreel. Taradam, taradam. Taradam, taradam. Taradam, taradam. Taradam, taradam. Yes. Jibril, where are you? I called you, the phone is ringing. Sorry, I was playing games. Yes, sir. I want you to go right now and take a dish of faith and dish of wisdom and install them in this idiot Muhammad. His wisdom is zero and his faith is minus zero. Jibril he said, yes, sir. Uh, uh, should I take two dish or two, one dish? Idiot, I just say to you, one dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Write them down if you are an idiot like him. Uh, okay, uh, um, question. Uh, should I install the dish of faith first or the dish of wisdom? Idiot. I just say to you, a dish of faith and a dish of wisdom. So obviously, you put the faith first. Hello? Okay, sir. I'm uh, right. Uh, sir, uh, should I do anything else? Uh, yes, I forgot to tell you. You need to clean his chest first because it's full of garbage. A lot of garbage. You know, he, he swallow everything. So don't forget to open his chest. 
before you install anything and then get some water from Zamzam. Don't take it from Walmart. Walmart water is not clean, brother. Okay, get it from Zam and Zam and Zam Zam. So now you wash his chest and then you make it ready. And then after that, you install the dish of wisdom. Sir, you told me dish of faith first. Exactly. Sorry, I forgot. I'm a lie. I always forget. I cause you forget Quran. I forgot myself too. So now you go take the dishes and report to me. And now after Muhammad, he had this surgery. He told this stupid story. So imagine Muhammad, how stupid he is before the surgery, because after the stupid story, he told this story after the surgery. So now Muhammad is wiser. This is the Muhammad after repair. He's telling such a silly, stupid story. So you can imagine how stupid Muhammad was before the surgery. Are you following with me? I wish you let me call. Abu Malik, you want to call me? But you are a Shia, right? Aren't you a Shia? Maybe next time, Abu Malik, because as you see, I'm leaving now. Too late. Why you did not say you don't want to call you two hours ago? Now you decide to say I want to call you now? Hmm. Anyway, and now if I say I will let you call me, you will say not now. All right. <clears throat> Anyway, I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Let us go. Otherwise, we will stay here for the coming three, four hours. God knows. And uh, did I say God knows? What's wrong with his nose? Ah, I mean, God knows best. <laughs> and this is why he sent a dish of faith and wisdom, because he knows how silly and stupid Muhammad is. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him.